I'm sure you've noticed that glossy lips are trending right now, but I'm also sure you've noticed the obvious downside to choosing a lip gloss over, say, a matte liquid lipstick. It just doesn't last. But there are two new long-lasting glossy lipsticks that claim to change that, one drugstore and one high-end. Over the next couple days, I will be testing and comparing the new Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lip Colors and the Urban Decay Lip Bond Liquid Lipsticks. These make almost the exact same claims as each other, except one is $25 and one is $10. So I'm excited to see if they're dupes of each other. But first, if you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. Welcome to my channel where we talk all things budget beauty. If that sounds interesting to you, then become the newest member of the Slashed Squad by hitting subscribe and the bell icon. All right, before I get into my first test, let me read you the claims that both of these products share. Both claim 16 hour wear. They are both a shake to activate product. They also both claim that they are transfer proof, but comfortable. Now, one big difference that may matter to you is that Urban Decay is cruelty free and vegan. Maybelline is not certified cruelty free. However, they do go out of their way for these Superstay vinyls to say that they are made without animal derived ingredients or byproducts. I am going to be starting off this test with the Urban Decay lip bonds though, so let me zoom you in for application. Now a couple of claims that Urban Decay makes that may set the lip bonds apart, they specifically mention these being food proof, which Maybelline does not. They also say that there should be no flaking, cracking, fading, crumbling, or drying. There are 12 shades in this Vice lip bond collection, Urban Decay sent me three Three, I have Pleased, which is a neutral brown, Cuffed Up, which is a baby pink, and then PDA is what I'm gonna be wearing today. It is a dusty red. Now the directions say that we gotta shake this up for at least five seconds before applying. All right, hopefully we've activated it enough. Ooh, we have a long, and thin applicator. I actually really like lip applicators like this because it's easy to get that outer edge of your lip super clean. All right, let's see. Ooh, that's really pretty. Very thin formula, which I like. Yeah, this applicator rocks. I am gonna bring the color in a little bit towards my inner lip because that's such a hard spot to keep lipstick. That would be awesome if it actually held in there. Yeah, I don't feel like I need to layer up for pigmentation. That was completely opaque in one swipe. This is so easy to apply. It's like just the right consistency where it spreads easily, but it doesn't start bleeding outside of the lip lines. All right, I think we are good. I'm just gonna give it a sec to set. Although we are supposed to retain this shiny finish. Now, first impression, I absolutely love the color. There is no denying that. The shine is a little bit less than I expected. I don't know. Like there's definitely some shine there, but I don't think they look as glossy as the ad. I don't really wanna build this up because this is supposed to be a one swipe product. So I don't think that's the issue either, but the shine is there, it is noticeable. It looks more like I used a shiny lipstick, like a bullet lipstick versus a lip gloss. All right, it's been about five minutes since I applied the lip bond. Not feeling super sticky, there's just a bit of tackiness when my lips are pressed together. But what I'm sure we all wanna see is the transfer proof power when it's freshly applied. So I'm just gonna take my fingers, Okay, well, a little bit of flakiness, a little bit of pigment transfer, but on the lips, it still looks okay. Hmm. It's hard to adjust my expectations. All I have to go off of is what they tell me. Now, is this way better than a typical glossy lip? Of course, but I really am putting this to the test today. I am most curious about how it's going to get through a meal or two. So I will update you a little bit later after I eat. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> I am unfortunately not having a good time with this Lip Bond liquid lipstick so far. I just finished lunch. I had a turkey sub, pretty standard lunch pick, I would say. Not overly greasy or anything. And the elephant in the room or on my face is that I do have the lower lip transfer mark that happens with very standard run-of-the-mill lipsticks. Not something I would expect from 
a long wearing lipstick at all. And just to read this straight from the source on Urban Decay's website, it does describe the Lip Bond liquid lipsticks as transfer proof and food plus water resistant. On top of that, I already read you the part earlier about no flaking, cracking, fading, crumbling, or drying. I am experiencing some flaking and it's ending up on my teeth. Can you see that? front and center. Also just a tiny speck right here. Not sure if that'll show up. Now here's the thing. Okay, I can wipe this off. I'm not sure how well this is gonna wipe off though. Eh. Okay. Doesn't leave like a noticeable stain. Uh, it kinda does. <laughs> Help. It's, it's not awful. Here's the thing. The product that's on my lips still looks pretty good. So there is that like catch 22 because this hasn't smudged outside of my lip lines. Nothing's looking blurry. It's not looking patchy or faded in any areas. So it's kind of weird because it's definitely not delivering on some pretty important claims, but it still looks good as long as I kind of clean up. And I think what I'm most impressed about too is that after eating, there is still noticeable shine. I am just gonna keep going about my day now with this going on and we'll see how it holds up through one more meal later on. All right, y'all, I've been wearing this Lip Bond liquid lipstick now for about 12 hours and I did just have my second meal. And I gotta say, my lipstick looks very good with some asterisks. So obviously after dinner, I'm not experiencing the same transfer or flaking as I did during the first meal. But I will say that this is not 100% transfer proof because even after lunch throughout the day, I've been drinking out of my water bottle and there is color on my white straw. Definitely less than if I were wearing a wet lip gloss, but it still happened when it's not supposed to be. Now, speaking of gloss, I do feel like at this point in the day, after two meals, I do not have shine or gloss left. We did start with a little bit, like I said, but right now I am, mm, I'm sitting at satin. There is still a little bit of a reflection. It just does not look wet. But here's where I'm torn. This still looks really good for 12 hours and two meals in. But here we are, let's do the transfer test one more time. Clean fingers. Mm. See, I'm still getting transfer. Like there can't be excess unset lipstick at this point, right? We have reached day two in this long lasting glossy lipstick test and yesterday was a little bit of a mixed bag, I'm not gonna lie. So today the Maybelline Superstay Vinyl Ink Liquid Lip Colors only have to do just as well as the Urban Decay Lip Bonds for me to classify them as an official dupe. Now I do wanna point out that Maybelline and Urban Decay are both owned by L'Oreal. And the reason I mention this is because I find that L'Oreal's drugstore brands often dupe their high-end brands. The Maybelline version of this product actually did come out a few months before the Urban Decay ones. And something else that I noticed yesterday is that this packaging is nearly identical with just a few luxe upgrades to the Urban Decay. The Urban Decay has more of like an aluminum type of outside, like it almost looks metal, it's reflective, and there is sort of this wavy edge. But if you look at them side by side, the height and width are exactly the same. The top is the exact same height and I did open up one of the Maybelline vinyl inks yesterday, exact same applicator. So there are 15 shades in the Maybelline vinyl ink line. I have four of them. There's Cheeky, which is a dusty mauve. Peachy, which is a peachy nude. The shade I'll be wearing today is Lippy, which is a dusty red. And then Witty is a plum mauve. Now, actually, I think Lippy might be a shade dupe to what we wore yesterday as well. So let's shake, 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 and I'll zoom you in for application. Now these Maybelline ones smell similar to their Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipsticks, which to me smells like cake or just sweet. It's not exactly my favorite fragrance and the Urban Decay ones did not have any noticeable scent. Wow, okay. Right off the bat, this looks so similar to yesterday. It feels so similar to yesterday. Yeah, this is like the same applicator, getting the same ease of precise application and lining the lips. While I do think that bringing the product in to my inner lip is what caused the teeth flakes yesterday, I really do wanna test these exactly the same side by side. So I'm gonna kinda bring that in. Yeah, that first layer looks very opaque. I don't need to build this up at all. If you didn't tell me 
that this was a completely different product and brand. Just from the application experience, I would not be able to tell. Okay, while this is drying, I do want to swatch this shade I'm wearing next to the one I wore yesterday because I really do think they're similar. Okay, that's today's shade. And here's yesterday's shade. Ooh, okay, not exactly the same, but very close. Okay, it's been about five minutes. Now, this finish is nearly identical to what we got from the Lip Bonds yesterday. I would say that vinyl is much better of a representation for this look versus glossy. Because when I think about glossy, I think wet and juicy looking, and vinyl is more like flat but reflective, if that makes sense. But yeah, this is the exact same look. So let's try out the freshly applied transfer test. Clean fingers. Getting the same amount of initial transfer as we did with the lip bonds yesterday. Just a little bit of pigment transfer and flakiness. Now again, doing that did not mess anything up on the face. I am curious to see if we'll get better performance throughout eating, so I will check back in with you after lunch. Y'all cannot tell me that this isn't the same product. <laughs> same performance, including the flaws. As you can see, I've got a little bit of that transfer here on my chin from eating. It's definitely not as pigmented of a transfer, so a little bit less, I guess. <laughs> and flaking on the teeth from the product that we put on the inside of the lips, so I would just say with either of them, don't put it farther than like, you know, where dry turns to wet on your lips. And again, the product on the lips does not look disturbed at all. Yeah, I'm actually really curious to look into the ingredients side by side to really see if there's much of a difference. So let's see how the Maybelline Vinyl Ink gets through one more meal and I will check back in with you later. I just finished dinner. We are at about the same point as I updated you last night, maybe a little under, like at 11 hours, and the lipstick looks great. There's been no more product transfer onto my chin, no more flakes ending up on my teeth. I'm not just gonna say that these are dupes of each other, for sure they are, but I actually think they're the same product. But let's take a look at the ingredients. I did pull the ingredients up for both products and this was kind of hard because the ingredients were different per shade. So I decided to compare the two really close color matches that we have that we've been testing throughout this video, PDA in the Urban Decay Lip Bond and Lippy from the Maybelline Vinyl Inks. And here you can see I've highlighted all of the common ingredients. I'm thinking that some of the differences do have to do with color since the ingredients vary within the same brand, shade by shade. The biggest differences that I could decipher from this ingredient list, since I am no cosmetic chemist or expert by any means, are that the Maybelline vinyl inks have fragrance, so that's listed. And then I also spotted, since both of them do claim to have like comfort nourishing ingredients, in the Urban Decay Lip Bonds, they use sunflower seed oil, whereas Maybelline uses aloe. But I mean, that many overlapping ingredients, it's really no surprise how closely they perform to one another. I think I think the main draw, if you did want to spend the 25 instead of 10, is that obviously this is certified cruelty-free and vegan and fragrance-free, but the drugstore option is seemingly going to give you the exact same performance. So I'm curious to know, have you tried either of these long-lasting glossy lipsticks, and did you have the same experience as I did with them? Tell me in the comments below. Today's shout out goes to Lori, thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad, and join me over in this video next where I share my glowy drugstore makeup routine that won't make Make you look greasy. I'll see you over there. Bye!